Newly released radio calls show the first effort to warn police about the gunman in Las, the Las Vegas massacre. A hotel maintenance worker called down from the 32nd floor of Mandalay Bay after a security guard was shot. The recording raises more questions about the police response. Jamie Yukis is outside the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. This has many people wondering why the shooter stopped his gunfire after a hailstorm of bullets first into the hotel hallway and then onto hundreds at a country concert below. These are some of the first gunshots fired by Stephen Paddock from inside his suite at Mandalay Bay. Call the police. Someone's firing a gun up here. Someone's firing a rifle on the 32nd floor down the hallway. Building engineer Stephen Schock used his radio to let hotel staff know about the terror unfolding on the 32nd floor. It's at the end of the hallway. Security guard Jesus Campos was already shot. I can't tell you what room. He looked like he fired down the hallway when I got close to the door. After Shuck's call, it's still unclear when exactly the Mandalay Bay staff called the police. Nobody's trying to hide anything. Originally, Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo had said Campos interrupted the shooter. But now, Lombardo says those first shots were fired six minutes before Paddock started his rampage. What we want to do is draw the most accurate picture we can. And I'm telling you right now, today, that that timeline might change again. Investigators say Paddock did not have any gambling debts and his girlfriend did not worry about his mental health. But his motive is still unclear. The first lawsuit by a victim has been filed. Paige Gasper's family is suing a number of parties they believe were negligent in this shooting, including MGM, which owns Mandalay Bay. In an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal, Sheriff Lombardo says an autopsy has been performed on Paddock and no brain abnormalities have been found. All right, thank you very much, Jamie.